Here I have TP-Link Nefos Y5 and let me show you how to go through the initializing setup process on the following device. So at the very beginning let me start by using a welcome panel. As you can see here you can choose the list of all available languages that you can use. So in my case let me choose English for instance from United States. You may also choose emergency and make some emergency calls if you need. If not let's just tap cancel. Afterwards let's tap that key to go next. You can insert SIM card, but you can also activate your device without the SIM card. So let me do it that way. Let's just tap skip right here in that corner. You can now select a Wi-Fi so you can connect your device to an internet connection. It's not necessary, you can bypass this step easily by tapping skip, but it's recommended to have some internet connection so you can enable some interesting options. So let me connect my device, let me choose my Wi-Fi. The device is trying to obtain IP address, the phone is checking connection, let's just wait a couple of seconds. The phone is looking for available update. And now you have to decide either you would like to copy your Google accounts, apps and data from one of your other devices or you can just simply tap no thanks and set up your device as a new. So let me do it no thanks and let me just have a fresh start. Let's tap next and wait a couple of seconds. Now you can add a Google account to your device. You can also skip this point by tapping skip in that corner. But it's also recommended to have a Google account synchronized with your device. So let me do it. You can do it in two ways. You can create a new account by using that blue link or you can use an existing Google account by inputting the email or a phone number. So let me do it. Let's input my email. Let's tap next. Now it's time to enter a password, let me do it, let's wait a couple of seconds. Alright, now you can tap next right here. You can accept terms of services and privacy policy, so let me do it in order to go next. The device is checking info. You can enable or disable some interesting features, for example, you can automatically backup device data. You may also use Google's location service to help apps determine your location. You can improve location accuracy and help improve your Android experience. Let me leave all of these features enabled and let's just simply tap next right here. Now the TP-Link is asking you to set up payment information. But you can easily bypass this step by choosing no thanks right here and tapping continue. Right now you can set up an email, the other email than your Google email. So let me just tap note now and let me do it later in settings. So let's choose note now right here. And now you can protect your device by using a screen lock pin, pattern or password or you can just do it later. So let me do it that way, choose skip, select skip anyway. You can restore apps and data from one of the following devices or you can just select don't restore and stop device without apps and data from your older devices. So let me do it that way. That's it. As you can see the home screen just pops up. So it simply means that now you can use your device, everything went well. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.